Alright, this video series is going to cover a few simple techniques in order to capture Peter Eisenman's Holocaust Memorial in Berlin. The installation is, is fairly simple. It's pretty much a grid of points with boxes at each point. And you see the variation in height creates a dynamic effect, but in reality, if you look at the top view, like I said, it's just a grid of points with boxes at each point. And you know, you have some some variation here, some slight variation. Yeah. And we'll try and capture that in Grasshopper, but we're just going to use a, you know some grids, some image samplers, some attractor points, and try and capture this thing. Nothing, <coughs> nothing too technical in terms of dimensions, but just visually try and capture what's going on and the logic behind it. So, so first we want a grid of points. Now, under sets, we want to pull out series, and under vector, we want to pull out point in XYZ. What we're doing is creating a, a grid of points with more control than the standard grids that that Grasshopper comes with, like the rectangular grid, square grid, <coughs> those are highly useful, but for this purpose, we want a little more control. So, under the series, N defines the step size for each value, and C defines the number of values in the series. S is the start point, which is by default at the origin. So let's pull out a slider, type in slider. We'll set the max to, to 25 for now. Like I said, nothing you know too technical. <clears throat> so we'll put that in the spacing. We'll set that to about 2, 2.5. Copy that and we'll we'll set 13 points for now. We'll set that in the the x direction. You know, change that to integers so there's no decimal points. We'll have 12. 12 in the number for now. So right now we have 12 points in the x direction at 2.65 feet apart from each other. So copy that down and plug it into the y to to form our grid. Now it's in a diagonal because it's not cross reference. So just right click on point and cross reference the numbers. All right, so here's the the foundation of the installation, the sort of the basic logic, at its at its complete simplest. It's it's a grid of points. <clears throat> now to to apply boxes at each point, just take out a rectangle. We'll extrude it in, in the z direction. So place that at each point and set the value to just copy one of these over. Set the value to about 0.85 or so, and do the same for the y. So we'll have squares at each point. If you notice, it it's applying the rectangles at the at one of the corners. Now that works uh, for us for now, but that could prove to be problematic in some cases. Now, if you wanted to center your rectangles at each point, what you want to do is move it in the x and y direction, half of the width and half of the length. So type in move, plug that into each rectangle, and you know, go to vector, vector, x, y, z. Now I could do one move in the x and one move in the y, but this just cuts one of the buttons out. Type that there. Now type in function, or just fu for you know, a function of a single variable, f1. We could re remove one of these since we have squares. We'll put in our dimensions of the rectangles in the x and set the function by right click. Go to the expression editor and type in x divided by 2 and there you will get your midpoints and plug that into the x and y vector. <coughs> All 
All right, so it moved half of that distance in the opposite direction of what we wanted. So just go to the V in your vector and right click, go to expression, and just type in negative V. And that should fix that problem. There we go. So we have a series of, of points in the x and y direction forming a, a grid of points in which we placed rectangles at each point and, and center the rectangle. So now we'll just extrude each rectangle in the z direction. And by default, it's going to extrude one unit high. So there we go. We have sort of the, the foundation, the formwork of the Eisenman installation. And you know, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, check out my blog at emergestudio.com. Uh, and as this video series progresses, we're going to start implementing some more complex tools. And and again, this is this is the ultimate goal right here to to create this dynamic flow of of boxes you know, in a simple grid. So check out the video uh, series again by subscribing or, or the blog at emergestudio.com.